we have EFGH here is a kite. You're going to find that missing angle measurement value of angle G. So we know that this angle H is 120. We know angle F, it is 50. We also know that the insides are unknown, X's and X's, and these two are the same because of the property of the kite. So we can set up the equation. 120 plus 50 plus X plus X has to be equal to 360. That's the total area. That's the total angles inside a kite. So this becomes 170 plus 2X after we combine like terms. We subtract 170 from both sides. Leave This gives you 2X is equal to 360. Subtract 170. That gets you 360. Subtract 170. This gets you 190. Then we can divide by 2. That gets you X is equal to 95. So we can say that the angle measurement of G is equal to 95 degrees. Okay. Then let's look at B. We know that angle F is 90, so we also know that this is 90. Okay. Then this is X. So we can do 110 plus 90 plus 90 plus X is equal to 360. Let's combine some like terms here. We can add 110 plus 90 plus 90. That gets you 290 plus X is equal to 360. Subtract 290 from both sides. Okay, 360 minus 290. That gets you X is equal to 70 degrees right here. Okay. Then we have angle C here. We know that since angle H is 100, we know angle F also has to be 100. Okay. Then we don't know what angle G is. So that can just be an X. We have 70 plus 100 plus 100 plus X is equal to 360. This is 270. After we combine like terms, 270 plus X is equal to 360. We subtract the 270 from both sides. 270 minus 270 cancels, leaving you with X is equal to, that is your 360 minus 270, that should get you a 90. What is unique here is that the angle G here is a right angle at 90 degrees. So there you go. That is how you uh, find angle measurements within a kite.